working on developing number sense, um, but also developing this part-to-part to whole relationship in numbers. Uh, we're going to be doing a couple activities that really emphasize that numbers can be um, made up of uh, other numbers. So there, so numbers are, you know, have different parts to it. Uh, we've done a similar activity, building in parts, building a number in parts using unifix cubes. But today we'll be using uh, dot strips, grid paper, and crayons. And um, again, additional uh, grid paper that's been um, cut into uh, two column strips. So um, the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, making building parts of numbers using the two column um, using the two column strips. And basically what I've done is I've just cut out two column strips using our regular grid paper that we can print up online <clears throat> and fashioning them into uh, representing different numbers. Like this would be number seven. Again, this would be number one, four, six, two, three, five. You know, we have um, numbers represented all the way from, from one through ten. Um, and basically what you do is you have children um, look at a certain number and try to build that number in as many ways as they can. Uh, so the number that I'm working on, this particular example, is the number 8. So for the first one, you can see I have number 5 and 3. So kids can um, put these together and count out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what I would do is I would have um, the, the two column strips in, 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 in piles where they can see uh, from 1 through 10, or even from just 1 through, uh, 1 through 7, and have them put together uh, different patterns uh, for the number 8. So uh, for example, you know, if they were looking at the first one, 1, um, they would have to figure out or count out uh, how many more they need to get to the number eight. They might use, um, they might count with their fingers, they might um, count on, or they might use some other strategy and figure out that I can do seven. Or they, they can do trial and error. For example, if um, they have a three and then they have a two, what they might do in the beginning is they might count it out one, two, three, four, five. Hmm, that doesn't work. That's not eight. And they might try again um, and, and try to figure out how much more they need to get the number eight. So here we have the number six and two, four, and four. So we want, what we want kids to do is we want them to play around with the two column strips. Um, you, what I would probably do is I would probably model a couple with them, um, probably using the smaller number n numbers, uh, like one, uh, like like three or four, and see um, how many combinations um, we can do together with me and the student, and then try a simpler number, uh, like maybe like three or five that maybe they can do with some guided support and then give them, give them a number where they can do independently. So they're coming, so uh, by the time they get to 8, 9, or 10, they've had experience and uh, they can put together a number of combinations. The next thing that we have are dot strips. Um, and dot strips are just strips with dots on them. And then the other thing we can do is we can have kids uh, work with small numbers at first, I actually used um, a larger number. I should have used a smaller number. Um, and have them create patterns um, so, they can, so they can see and they can count out. So for example, we want them to build the number 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm sorry, we want them to build the number 7. So they, uh, they have the pattern paper and they start putting together the number 7 and they look at the different combinations of 7. So here, for example, we have 6 and 1, and then we have 5 and 2, 
and we have 4 and 3. And again, we, what we would want to do with them is we'd want to have some of the, the dot strips out for them um, and for them to put these strips together to come up with a number. Uh, for kids who are starting off, um, what I would do is I would stick with the smaller numbers, 3, 4, 5. Uh, maybe for the number three and four, um, it could be a teacher modeled. Um, if they, re if you feel that they really have difficulty with it, and then um, two one together with a little guided support, and um, to uh, you know have them once they're comfortable with it and they can put together these numbers using the dot strips, um, you can have them um, do something independently, like the number five, six, um, or seven. And the last thing that we have here is, is um, again, our grid column. And um, just using crayons and just some grid paper that you can print out, have them color in some combinations. Here, for example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have the number 6, and we have different ways of representing number 6. So for the first, for the first row, we have... Um, we have 5 and 1, 5 plus 1. Second row we have 3 plus 3. And the last row we have 4 plus 2. So these are different representations of the number of the number 6. And it's a very simple activity, um, but again we want them to think of in terms of, of um, parts, um, parts to a larger whole. And these are a couple of very simple activities using uh, dot strips and uh, grid paper.